Welcome to 10 Royal Games. I'm Dan. I'm Nick. I'm Neil. We're stuck in a freaking dust storm here, sandstorm. I'm trying to get to the rush. Oh my god! Holy shit! Horse has oh. no fear. Just rides oh. right into that. Okay, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't go just blindly in the dust. Maybe I'll just go slowly. Don't you have a map? Well, yeah, but I can't like look at the map while I'm running through a dust dust go storm. Go to the map. Maybe you are going like the correct uh, direction. Press triangle. No, is that it? <laughs> it allows you to look at the map while you're running god. through a dust storm. Neil, I've played this game for like 60 hours. You never told me about that before. <laughs> <laughs> Seems useful. <laughs> I need to get there. That's a terrible place to need to get to. It's alright, you just go over some mountains. Uh, we, got, we got like a two hour drive ahead of you or something? I guess. Uh, we'll, like, we'll, we'll do the, uh, the alphabet game. See what cars we pass and you know what letters they have in their... Uh, and their back bumpers. I always said car bingo, where you had like a little bingo card. Have you guys seen these here from the 50s? Because I think that's when I got these, but it oh, is yeah. literally like a little card that has like slidey little plastic red doors, mm -hmm. and it says like stop sign, cows. Well, this is, why am I like first person? Huh? Yeah. Because this is the, this is what your payment is for having the map up. I have to do first person view? Yes. This actually isn't that bad. You're still looking at your phone like this, like you're just... Uh, no, this is actually pretty sweet. Uh, You're pressing it against your missing eye. <laughs> <laughs> it's allowing you to see the map. Is this the only way you can activate first person view? Uh, uh, in this, in this manner? Yeah. Um, no, you can um, aim with a gun. Right, of course. <laughs> that is a thing that happens. Can you shoot with the map down? I don't nope. think so. No, my gun is not being raised. Yeah. This is still pretty sweet, though. Yeah, I'm into it. Yep. So, uh, yeah, I gotta get on a little ways across the map, just get pick up that Russian interpreter, then that guy, uh, with him picked up, I'll grab my helicopter, go back to base, research the things I need, and then I will be the super stealth awesome spy with Russian capabilities that I always wanted to be. Those Russian capabilities of speaking Russian. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. my secret Russian powers of knowing, multiple, of, of knowing a guy who knows multiple <laughs> languages. They never thought Snake would gain that power. It seems like if you were in the military in the Cold War, you should just speak the language of the enemy, right? Yeah, no reason not to. I mean, he like, did speak Russian before. Well, yeah, but right, like... Right, I got a... a you got a giant piece of plate through that part of my But anybody in the Russian military, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it would seem really useful to, like, be able to understand what the enemy is yelling. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you would think they would all speak English, and then also Russian, because they're Russian. Yeah, right. yeah, like, they would just, as part of their military training, would learn English. I gotta get a supply drop because I've run out of Fulton entirely. That is not a, in the post, man. Yeah, it's an enemy base. That's not so good. Although I've already uh, cleared that one, so I'll just put it afterwards. Oh, they remain cleared. Uh, they cleared, remain cleared for like some number of hours. Um, like so real world hours or ships? gameplay hours? Uh, gameplay hours, okay. definitely. Yeah. Since this one has been clear for a week yeah. now or something. Yeah. So this, yeah, this is this is the last mission I did, the one where I just killed everybody, so I can just run through this and give everybody. Something you still did. Yeah. Yay. Oh, no, they're not. Except for that guy. No, just keep running, right? Whatever. I don't give a shit. Oh, you got less heroism for not killing him? No, no you got for being him. seen. Got it. That also will probably put the base where I'm trying to get this freaking interpreter on alert, too. But you know what? Whatever. Things what, happen. what are they? Walkie talkies? What is this? I know. Come Sweet. on. Goodies. Got them all. So have you guys been playing any other games now that uh, you both uh, got your playthroughs through? Got a what what playthroughs? Your your Metal Gear playthroughs. So you guys. Uh, oh yeah. Well, actually, we just been playing Commander, like uh, Magic: The Gathering. Yeah, uh, a lot of Commander. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. It's the the singleton format where you like make a hundred card yeah. deck and like have a a commander, a general who basically like decides the whole identity of your deck. It's it's very flavorful. It's like a, a like obviously less competitive than the competitive formats. And lets you put a lot of personality into your play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Commander is a wonderful format, especially if you have, if you have a playthrough as lovely as you guys. Oh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Dan plays with us. I'm giving telling him information he already knows for the sake of you guys at home. <laughs> no, let's bring it all personal. I don't live here. These guys do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you guys been playing? I, I, I presume three player. Oh yeah. Or yeah, maybe yeah, Josh yeah. comes out every now and then. Uh, you can see him like once or something. I think if he um he is playing Commander today. Oh, really? Like, downstairs? Yeah. Oh, currently, yeah. Uh, I talked to him about it earlier. 
Yeah, if you guys have not gotten into magic, uh, I would recommend it with a clause. It's It costs money, right? Yep. It's not like a $60 video game where you can buy it and put in from 25 to 1,200 hours and be satisfied, mm -hmm. right? Um, it is definitely uh, has a cost. But if you know what you're doing, you can manage that well, and it's just kind of fun. Yeah. It's really great. Big fan. There's a high fun top end with magic like because it just involves a lot of separate fun things there's a lot of like creative flavor in it there's a lot of uh like you know of marshalling your own ideas and whatnot in the game mm -hmm. uh there, there can be competitive there's like a great deal of strategic depth to it there's a great deal of lore that inter can often integrate nicely with the and good lore the too like yeah. it's done by wizards of the coast right so you know it's just solid fantasy. Yeah, yeah. Like, they don't joke around with their fantasy business. They make that... What's that stupid tabletop game that influenced literally every fantasy genre from the beginning of time? Dungeons and Dragons? That's the one I'm thinking of. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, that's them. Yeah, yeah, they got it down, so... God, if this guy gets killed by my freaking 90%... Oh, no. Okay, I got that be the Oh, that's what happened last time, yep, right? I had yeah. a 90% chance because I've only got level 1 Fultons, and he just hit a crane or something. <laughs> <laughs> he hit an eagle. Yeah. <laughs> he, hit, he hit Sputnik on the way up. <laughs> oh no, this is way past that. Oh, he hit Sputnik right. on the flowers? way down. <laughs> Look to the left? Left. Oh, flowers. Yeah. Okay, so I've got the Russian Interpreter. Let's uh, get my friends. Pick me up before you go, go. Um, Great song. Also from the 80s? Yep. yep. It's very 80s. Yep. About as 80s as a song can get. Yeah. Where's my horse? Seahorse. Oh, there's Seahorse. So Way yeah. better than A through Seahorse. Mm. Yeah, those horses were... Uh, we don't talk about those horses. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they're not horses anymore. Science has its costs. Yep. <laughs> they're, glu they're glue now. Oh. Ooh. Time to just do this awesome... Oh, there's two of them. Can you just shoot them? Why didn't you waste your trains? Don't even give a what? shit. Because he's not evil, I have to kill everyone. <laughs> oh, I missed that oh. shot. Must slow. Oh, it's okay, because oh, he didn't see me the first time. God, I'm good at my job. <laughs> uh, uh. Where is this guy? Wow, oh, that is shit. a difficult shot. He can't even you see you. Oh, I slid down the fucking hill. Well. Ha <laughs> ha. See how you feel when I put your friends in balloons. So yeah, I don't even know how good any of these guys are. I'm just freaking evacuating left and right. Oh, you can't stop me. This guy seems like he's really good. You should pick him up and take him on the helicopter. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, Make he'll... sure he really gets home. Mm-hmm. Because uh, I'll need someone to have a conversation with on the way back. <laughs> Maybe now you can do that. Can you put him on the horse? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, can I, like, not run with a person on my back yet? This is, this is your running with a person on your back. Seriously? Yeah. You'll get there. Oh, yeah, that's my not running. When you get, uh, I mean, you can develop your arm to just generally run faster. Oh, okay, that's what I'm missing out here, I guess. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. What no, happened? No. Oh, Peacock's coming hot. What? Oh. No, he took care of it. Okay, he just gunned the dude down. Wonderful. <laughs> well, he's in a helicopter, and that was probably, like, a dude with a machine gun. Yeah. Flowers. Uh, sorry, Pequot, I know you just like took some heavy fire, but uh, flowers. Flowers. Flowers are very important in this game. I don't understand how they help you make oil rigs. Hmm? Very important. <laughs> what, the flowers? Yeah. Uh, you know, they just brighten up the corners. Like, say your oil rig has like <laughs> a morale. has like a breakfast nook, right? And it needs like a little something to really tie it together. Throw some, throw some flowers <laughs> in there. A couple little flowers in there. Yeah. yeah. It, you know, like, works wonders for morale. Maybe press them, mm -hmm. pin them to some fabric over cardboard, frame that, put it on the wall. Ooh, I was you actually know? thinking of a scrapbook also with pictures of the crew. You know, of, oh, the, of your man. Yeah, yeah. A couple of crew pictures and, mm -hmm. you know, a little uh, just, wild blue flower. Just so or... they know you care. Yeah. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that's so sweet. Oh, yeah. Maybe you could, like, have like those in, like, the guest book. <laughs> <laughs> Please sign in if you've been here. Snake. Yeah. <laughs> Snake. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot that goes into running a mother base. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, I didn't think of that. I didn't we, we don't take the mother part lightly. No, <laughs> no, no. Nor the base part. No, but you know, it's the mother important. part as well. Yes. <laughs> well, 
That was 10 Royal Games. I'm Dan. I'm Nick. I'm Dale. And we're, just, we're doing this in the end now. Yeah, this is what that, why did you start that? What? Why did I start what? <laughs> See you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>